Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make beach shakes, like the ones that you saw at the start of this video. So to start off with, we're going to make a new composition. We're going to make it 60 FPS, 1920 by 1080 and it doesn't matter what the duration is, it's just going to be however long your video is, and then hit OK. Once we've done this, drag our song in, so I'm going to be using this song here. Find where the first beat drop is, which is about here. So now that we've found the first beat drop, what we're going to do is we're going to drag in our first clip. So we've got our first clip here. Now we're going to move the first clip until we get the kill right where the kill is. Then we're just going to apply our presets. So I'm going to use my RGB shake. I'm going to be removing my RSMB because I don't need that. And then just aligning everything with the kill, like that. Once we've done this, all we're going to do is make a layer, new adjustment layer. And on here, we're going to put S underscore shake, like that. Once we've put shake on this layer, we're going to set a marker for each beat. So to do that, go to where the beat happens and hit this button here. There. 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 And there. So once we've done that, we're going to set a keyframe for the amplitude. Set one here. Go back one frame. Set it to zero. And then we're going to go forward 19 frames from this marker. Once we've got 19 frames, set another one to zero and then hit U and we're going to set this one right here to 6 next we're going to set our frequency to 14 then we're going to set our X to 72 we're going to set our Y to 72 and the wave amp to 36 then with our tilt shake we're going to set our wave amp to 0.5 and our wave frequency to 5 we're also going to turn off random frequency turn on motion blur then we're done for this part of the shake and once we've done that highlight our keyframes and we're gonna hit F9 or we can do keyframe assistant easy ease and we're gonna go into our graph editor when we're in here make sure we're set to speed graph then zoom in and then set your graph to look like this once it looks like that we're done with this pit now we're going to add some exposure, so go to your effects and presets. And once your effects and presets is loaded, type in exposure and just put exposure on your adjustment there. Once here, we're going to set a keyframe, set that to 1 right on the beat. Then we're going to go back one frame, set it to 0 and go to where this ends and set it to 0 again. Then with the adjustment layer selected, we're going to hit U and then U again. Highlight the exposure keyframes, easy ease these, and then do the exact same that we did for the shake. Once we've done that, there's only one more step to go, and that's to add blur mode curves to add a bit of a screen pop. So to do this, all you've got to do is go to where the kill, go to where the beat happens, set a keyframe, set this one to 0.905 go back one frame set this to one and then go back to where it ends set this one to one also and then just like before we're going to hit U, U again highlight our keyframes easy ease them then go in our graph editor and make it look like a mountain like that so once you've done this all you have to do is highlight your keyframes hit ctrl C Hold down shift and move it to the marker, then hit page up to go one frame back, paste, go to the marker, one frame back, paste, marker, one frame back, paste, marker, one frame back, and paste. And once we've done this, we're pretty much done, although we need to make sure that the shake ends when the kill happens, so make sure that keyframe finishes there. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. I got so much motherfucking design on right now. Break it down. I got so much motherfucking design on right now. Break it down. 
So to make this look a little bit cleaner, as you can see right here, for example, there's some harsh black lines that go across the screen and we don't want that. So we're going to type up motion tile in our effects and presets, put this right at the top of our adjustment layer, set the output of width and height to 200, set it to mirror edges, and then we've done that. All you've got to do now is make another adjustment layer, add your CC. So for this one, I'm going to use my sharpen CC. Once you've added to that, you're pretty much done. So let's take a look at how this looks now. I got so much motherfucking design on right now. I got so much motherfucking design on right now. And there we have it. We have managed to make beat shakes for our highlight edits. So if you like tutorials like this and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe as we are nearing 1,000 subscribers and it would help a lot. Also drop down in the comments some suggestions of what you would like to see covered next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another tutorial soon. Thank you.